no, 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 I've been wearing every single day from Zara and my aunt gave me this shirt Only well, we worn it like once before but it has a really cool like pattern and then just some pants that I've had for a while that I just brought on the trip but yeah this is the fit I'm feeling cute I'm giving like I feel like I'm giving Spice Girl vibes with my hair today and I'm just I fucking love how it came out and my makeup looks cute I feel like a bad bitch I'm gonna have to take some pictures but they have a siesta here so I have to go eat before they close because if not I can't eat till seven. So uh, my hair looks bomb as fuck. What the fuck? This is this a wig? <laughs> okay, I gotta go. <laughs> Guys, look at this toilet. Look, look at this. It's on the there's no lift. Like there's not even something here be like, oh you can hold on to it. What if you have no thigh support? Like I just don't understand why. I don't understand. I don't get it. Hi guys, I'm editing. I just wanted to add a little bit more of context for what you're about to see. So in the next few clips, me and Sydney went to the top of the Duomo building. I'm gonna insert a pic over here so you can know what I'm talking about. Basically the, the building that looks like a humongous castle. So I just wanna tell you guys a cute, cute little facts about it. I wrote it down on my index card. It's the fifth largest, fifth largest Catholic church in the world. It has the most statues. Basically every peak that you see has like a statue of like a full size person on it, which was pretty insane. And they started working on it, get this, in 1386 and it is still not done. Talk about um, a work in progress. <laughs> yeah, it was actually, really fucking beautiful and so detailed like i cannot uh express to you guys enough how much care and attention to detail there is in architecture in italy i've never seen so much attention to detail in one place so that was really uh beautiful and it's sort of tainted me because now i look at um <laughs> new jersey and i'm like this place is ugly <laughs> but it was a beautiful experience and it was super cheap it was only like 10 euro yeah she foreign she cultured no so this is like 12 dollars american money i really want to go back in the summertime so hopefully i visit europe in the summer uh enjoy the rest
Hello guys, I'm still editing uh, more context for the next clip. So this day that these clips were taken was Naomi's birthday. Shout out to Naomi and her friends and her roommate. I had so much fun with them. Basically where we were was a cultural thing in Italian that they call aperitivo. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. It does not mean appetizer. Basically, you pay for one drink and you either get, depending on the place, like a buffet of food or you get like unlimited wine, finger food on the side. So it's really cool, really chill vibes. Like people don't just get blackout, wasted, happy hour style. It's very classy, very high end, very European. So we were like, let's go to a strip club. We're trying to see some ass. So we go to the strip club and the guys outside, two old guys are all, you know, it's 40 euro because they heard us speaking English and they were just like trying to fuck us over because we were American and we were like, nah, peace. So we hopped on the metro, hopped, no, sorry, excuse me, hopped on the tram, hopped on the metro. And then on the metro, there was this beautiful Egyptian woman just sitting there looking like a sculpture. Oh, she, was, she was gorgeous. And so her and Naomi start talking and basically we find out that she actually used to work at the karaoke bar that we're about to go to so she's like oh i'll hook it up with drinks i'll hook it up with a discount and i'll hook it up by dancing with you guys and then she partied with us like the whole night and that was really fun also shout out to naomi and her friends for letting me come to their thanksgiving party at their school that was really dope really amazing and i'm happy that i had somewhere to eat and be with people who also spoke english on thanksgiving um, even though I don't endorse it as a holiday, but anyways, enjoy the rest of the video. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you! Hi guys, if you got to this far in the video, thank you for watching so much. Before the video ended, I just wanted to give a quick pros and cons list of the things I really liked about Italy and some of the things that, whoa, my camera fell. And some of the things that I didn't like as much. So I'm just gonna go into them really quick there in my notebook. I really love the architecture. I love the attention to detail and I love the aperitivo culture. It was really refreshing to not have people wanted to, wanting to get shit faced. That was fun. The language is beautiful. I loved hearing people speak it and just their different voices. And it was just, it's a really pleasant language to the ear, I think. They had a lot of good food options, a lot of pizza and pasta options that I found really delicious. And the next time that I go, I wanna make sure that I make it more of a priority to hit top food spots so I could try them. I dressed a lot better, I think, because I was on vacation and I just wanted to look nicer, so it made me feel better and made me realize that, hey, maybe I should dress up more. Everyone there dresses really nice and they really put effort into their appearance. Not saying that people don't dress down, but they don't dress down in the same sense that people do in America. Like in America, people will wear like sweats, slides like me and Uggs and stuff like that, but I didn't really see anybody in sweats, anybody like out in, in sort of a uh, loungewear. Um, so the cons about Italy. There were some, unfortunately, there's a con to everything, I think. Every single toilet is different. Like, the flush. 
the flush system is different in every single toilet and it just blew my mind that I had to figure out where the fucking flush was every time I went to flush. At one point it was a chain that I had to pull and then it flushed. Another point it was a button on the floor I had to step on. It was a lever I had to turn or it was a button I had to press. I I don't understand it. I don't think it makes sense. I think that Italian people just make one flush and then you'll all just be good. You don't have to think about a math problem before you flush the toilet. That's just me. A weird thing, all of the light switches were outside of the room, which I found very strange and like very confusing for my brain to get accustomed to. Breakfast there is too small. Breakfast there is a croissant and coffee and I eat dinner for breakfast, so that didn't really fly with me. There, siesta time. From 3 p.m. to 7 p.m., all of the good food spots are closed. Why? I have no idea. The Italian people that I asked had no idea. The shit made absolutely no sense, but that is their thing. It just closes. So um, when I found this out, I was hungry, hangry, angry, and I was ready to fight somebody if they came up to me and said anything because I was so hungry. The cigarettes. Wow, do people smoke. This must have been what America was like in the 80s and the 70s because I have never been somewhere where everyone was smoking like even at a party people were smoking even in the club people were smoking there was no air everywhere you go someone is smoking a cigarette it's insane and i'm not even used to the smell of cigarettes anymore because people it's just very stigmatized now and people in america i think have an understanding that it's bad and it causes lung cancer and like why are we gonna do that when we can do other drugs that are better for you i think the craziest thing that i found was that kids started smoking really really young i talked to some italian people and they said that they started smoking cigarettes at like 13 14 like that's really young to start smoking cigarettes in my opinion and i saw like 15 16 17 year olds like smoking in groups and it i don't know it's just something strange that i've never seen before like i don't ever see young people smoking cigarettes so that was a first i feel like italy was a tad more racist and sexist than america like it's a it's a little less progressive in that sense which I didn't really appreciate, but I think a lot of places are like that, and there's probably a lot of places that feel that same way about America. Overall, that was my trip. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you enjoyed the vlogs. I really want to do a lot more of these vlogs in the future. To support those future vlogs, give this video a thumbs up and a comment, and let me know what was your favorite part of the video, and I really want to go on more trips and stuff in the future, so hopefully that happens soon. I also went on a trip to Puerto Rico. I'm gonna insert some clips here, and I never made a vlog on it and a video about it. I don't really know why. But that is it for the video. Hope you guys have a great morning, afternoon, night, whenever it is that you watch this. And uh, live your best life, sis. Do what you gotta do. Okay. Bye.